What's happening? You getting scrappy? Oh, are you fighting my pants? <laughs> they don't like the buttons or the phone. Look at this. <laughs> Hi. What do you think? Hi. <laughs> Funny birds. Well, tons of snow again. I think we've gotten about six or seven inches since last night. But it's like 20 degrees now, so it's pretty tolerable. How you doing? You got some lettuce for the birds? Yeah. You can just put the box down and bring some lettuce in. They'll be very excited. You want to bring it over to their um, food bowls? It's easier for them to eat it out of there than in the snow, I think. Oh, what does she got? Lots of treats. Nice. Oh, they're gonna love that. Okay, so I just came in from outside and now I need to go through and sort all of the produce because what we don't use here on our farm, we bring to um, a friend's farm down the way who has pigs and a giant compost service. So um, one of our jobs is to go through and take out all the plastic, all the wrappers, all the twist ties, um, and try and get as many stickers as we can, but yeah, so time to get that done. All right, let's get sorting. So let me remind you that this is every day. So we get produce seven days a week, 365 days a year. With that, we have a responsibility then to dispose of the garbage properly. Now, it's not something that everybody wants to do. To us, it's completely lucrative. We have animals that need fresh food. Um, Brandon and I are not working a, a traditional job out here and so wherever we can save money we're gonna save money so if that means having to dig through some produce that is maybe not ideal we're gonna do that so anyway I'm gonna get back at it this one's ready isn't it? <clears throat> oh applesauce for days the animals down here at once. You can see through the tree trunks of her legs. But this is a big milestone for Gary because he would never be downstairs with the dogs until we had these kittens that are fearless and now they show him it's okay to be down here with the dogs. They're really not gonna do anything. Yeah, you're all bark. <laughs> this dog. Oh my goodness. In my in my business all the time. <laughs> she's a good girl. So she's got these um there are these hard kind of calcifications in her knees. And we're hopeful it's not <coughs> cancer, but with this breed apparently they get cancer pretty easily. So fingers crossed. All right, so today we are testing out the little egg scrubber, which is this lovely family in Vermont came up with this egg washing machine. And it's two sets of brushes that kind of go in opposite directions, so they keep just tumbling the eggs. So what you do is you soak it first in their organic enzyme pre-soak. So it's just a little bit of this with some warm water. And then after about 10 or 15 minutes of soaking, you can just start 
start them on this machine. You don't really have to do anything. You just let the machine do its work. We've done, this is the last of our, our week-long batch, so we've done about 12 dozen eggs so far, which is kind of crazy. And really, we've hardly done any work. It's been pretty easy, right? Yeah, so this will be great because I think the kids can probably get involved with this a little bit more, um, which will save me some time. And then once our our ladies kind of ramp up production again, because right now they're getting a little slower because it's winter, then this will be perfect for that because it says it should do about 700 eggs in an hour. Now, if you were doing multiple soaks, you could probably get that done. We had to stop. Yeah, five gallon buckets. Probably. Yeah, we had to stop every like 50 to 100 eggs and you know redo the water, get some new water in there, new soak, warmer water because the warmer it is, the the more debris will come off. Okay, the boys have created an elevator system for the cats. <laughs> That's so cute, but unfortunately, I think Gary will plummet to his death. So I think we need to not have Gary do that one. Yeah, but I think I think Snowball and Phoenix. I think it's a good weight. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> That's amazing. Good job. Homeschool, y'all. That is deep snow. <laughs> Brought the kids sledding today. Oh, it's so pretty, but it's so cold. Wonder how the sledding is today. Oh, the lovely drive to Jackson when there's snow. We haven't attempted this yet since we've moved. So today is airport day An egg and turkey delivery. Not too bad though. Okay, it's time to clean out. Hi. Clean out the duck in the turkey house again because it's been so cold and snowy. Hey, sorry, this bird just tried to eat my glove. Hey, that's not a that's not food for you. <laughs> but you can see how gross this got in here. Because they've been spending so much time. And I, I do try and keep, you know, a fresh layer on top because all this just freezes but it's again it's frozen so it's not doing them any harm but it's so gross coming in here and i never know if i'm stepping on an egg or poo oh honey you're getting picked on a little bit eh maybe it's you picking them off i don't know these girls need to grow their feathers back though i tell you look at how much snow is on the duck house careful of your knees on there buddy cross Careful of your knees on the screws, okay? Look how much snow is here. And we're supposed to get like another foot. But we had to uh, plug the lights in to the duck house because I think I got 10 eggs today. About eight yesterday, 10 before. I mean, it's not super consistent and they've had quite a bit of time off. So I think it's time to supplement with some light. See all that snow up there? Okay, it was just like an avalanche that came rushing down. Look at all that snow that fell. And it does, it just all comes crashing down. So tomorrow I will take you guys around. Um, we've gotten like a foot of snow today. So we're total probably creeping at like five feet total this year. And we're again running out of places to put the snow. So I'll walk you around and show you that tomorrow. Oh, what a nice day for the kitties. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, we're gonna to attempt to walk. It's really icy today. You can see how slippery this is. But we haven't been outside for a little while. I mean, yesterday, I guess, but it just was so cold this morning and everything's so crunchy and icy. It's not as enjoyable to play in, so we're just gonna get our bodies moving in a different way today. Okay, let's see it. Whoa, we're working on balance today in FIED. Balance, core strength, street smarts about what we wear when it's winter. <laughs> That's how we roll here. We 
call it managing the cold. <laughs> yeah. Wim Hof would probably think that was a cool thing. He would applaud you, Jameson. I said one rule, no head injuries on the way down. We've definitely, definitely hit winter. Can you tell? Look at this. Do you like our trails? So this one gets us from this deck to the duck house. And there's one that runs over here too, down here. And then that one runs out. And so we can get there from the basement. <laughs> and then we have the plugins for the lights. So stocking up on wood, got to fill this again today. Um, I think it's about three degrees right now. So everyone's in the house, hunkered down. It's supposed to get a little warmer today, but I don't know. Can you see the greenhouses up there, you guys? So yeah, it's been a full-time job this week. Um, that's why it took so long to get this video out. We've been busy moving snow. So look for kind of a why we are doing this video coming in the next couple of weeks. It's in my head. It hasn't become tangible yet. So stay tuned. But I hope everybody's keeping warm. I know it's really cold a lot of different places. So everyone stay warm, stay happy, stay healthy. And with that, we'll talk soon.